Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a sandwich. Now the sandwich is called the Inky Gayo sandwich and was brought to my attention last year but things happen and I never got around to making it. So it was brought back to my attention when I read about it in BuzzFeed who reported about a week ago that K-pop star Songri revealed that notes and phone numbers were passed using this sandwich among K-pop stars. Now Inky Gayo is a show that airs weekly on Korean TV that has all the most popular Korean K-pop stars. So apparently this sandwich is served at the cafeteria at the Inky Gayo Studios. But what's kind of unusual are some of the ingredients that are in the sandwich. So the sandwich is composed of four layers of bread and between each layer we have a potato egg salad, strawberry jam, and a cabbage kind of slaw in between. That's all pressed together, wrapped in saran wrap and served to the stars. So exchanging phone numbers and sandwiches, I like it. So let's go ahead and make the sandwich. So my recipe is inspired by a few videos that I watched on YouTube and a couple blog posts. I'll put all of their links down in the description in case you are interested. All right, let's begin with the potato egg salad. All right, so in this bowl, I've got two kind of smallish sized potatoes. These are Yukon Golds. I like using these for potato salad because they're kind of waxy and they're not so mushy like a russet potato. So I've got two of those. These are fully cooked. I like cooking them in the microwave because it's a great opportunity to clean my microwave. No joke. I take the potatoes, I poke them a little bit with a fork and then I nuke them for three minutes and then it steams the entire inside of my microwave. I turn the potatoes over, give them another three minutes and when I can poke a knife completely through it easily then I know the potatoes are done and then I take a paper towel and then I wipe down the entire inside of my microwave and it is clean. It is very nice. Okay, back to the potato salad. So I'm gonna cut these up a little bit, kind of bite-sized pieces. I don't want them to be too small. Two hard-boiled eggs. Now these are eggs from my own chickens. This one got a little bit mutilated because it was very, very fresh when I peeled it. Now I'm going to use a little hack that I've seen on the internet and I've been wanting to try it forever, but I always forget. So I've got a little bit of plastic mesh. This comes from those bags of limes, oranges, lemons, whenever you get citrus. Then we take my hard-boiled egg and place it right in the middle. Oh, and then we're just gonna squeeze. Oh, that's so satisfying. And you got perfectly like chopped up egg. All right, so that was fun, but then I'm left with this, which isn't so fun. Trade off, I guess, right? Now we're gonna add another ingredient and it is this. And this is imitation crab, unabashedly fake crab, which is apparently made out of fish. My dear friend Amanda, actually one of her first jobs was working at an imitation crab factory. Can you imagine? At any rate, so I've got about a quarter cup of this and I'm going to just shred it into the mix here. My brother used to love this stuff. My mom used to buy the imitation crab sticks for my brother and he would just like nibble on them as a snack. We do you still like them? I have no idea if he even likes imitation crab anymore. It's got a very strong fishy smell, but the flavor is very sweet. It's cooked entirely. It's got a very bouncy texture loaded with MSG and sugar. It does look like crab, but it tastes nothing like crab. All right, now I'm gonna wash my fingers again. A little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of black pepper, just a tiny bit. Next, we're gonna add mayo to kind of tie everything together. I love this brand, this is Kewpie Mayo. This is from Japan. It comes in this great squishy bottle and has a little Kewpie baby on it. My son loves this because he loves babies. It makes applying mayo really, really easy. You can go like this if you're making like okonomiyaki or you can open it like this, which is really satisfying because it has a star tip and then it comes out in this great little, isn't that great? Love that. Okay, don't want too much mayo in there. In terms of flavor, it's really good. It's different than Hellman's. It's a little bit looser in texture and it's got a little bit more tang to it, but really like it. And of course, it's not imperative that you use this type of mayo, just use whatever you've got. Okay, so now we're gonna stir this all together. So let's add a little bit more. 
Oh, it's so satisfying to squeeze too. All right, let's give that a taste. Mmm, that is an excellent potato salad. So predominantly I taste potato and get a little bit of richness from the egg. And of course you get this beautiful yellow color. And let's get a little bit of that imitation crab too. Mmm, I don't taste in that fishy flavor whatsoever. It just adds a little bit more savoriness to the whole mix. Delicious, it works really well in that. Like that. For the next layer of the sandwich, we're going to make a little bit of cabbage slaw. I've got some finely shredded green cabbage. I used my mandolin, which is a really great tool for something like this. It gets the cabbage so fine and so thin. It's really, really great. Be careful, this blade is incredibly sharp. Use the guard whenever possible. Now we're gonna go back with our mayo again. Give that a good application of that. I'm gonna use a little bit of ketchup as well just for a little added color and sweetness. That's gross. Okay, try that again. All right, let's mix this up. Kind of a thousand island coleslaw. All right, let's assemble the sandwich. So now I've got myself a stack of four slices of white bread. So layer number one, I'm gonna do my coleslaw. So even layer, don't wanna make things too thick or too crazy, cause it's gonna be really difficult, I think, to cut and manage. So I'm gonna to try to stay away from the edges because I'm gonna be cutting those off. And I don't want to have, you know, problems. Cabbagey, nice. Another layer of bread, boop, right on top. Next, we're gonna put a little unconventional but very colorful layer, and it's gonna be this, strawberry jam. Now, this is homemade freezer jam that I made last summer from strawberries that my family picked together. So much fun. If you've never made freezer jam, it's a delight because you don't have to deal with lots of boiling water, steaming up your house. And my favorite part is that it tastes in my opinion, so much better. Because you don't cook the jam or heat it up, it just has more of a really great strawberry intense flavor. Okay, enough about jam. Let's smear the bread, shall we? Now, we're gonna take some of this beautiful jam and spread, look at that color. I mean, really, for reals. Like, for reals. Like, no artificial coloring this. No, huh, uh honey, this is all natural. My favorite jam, by the way, is strawberry jam. Mm -hmm, in case you didn't notice. All right, I'm gonna put a good layer of that on there because Next layer, moosh. Now we're gonna put our egg salad. Okay, looking good, looking good. All right, final layer of bread, bump right on top. Trim the crust using a sawing motion. Oh yes, oh yes. The goal is to have a nice cross section. Oh, that piece right there. That's all right. Sawing motion. Okay, cabbage. Come on. Why does my plastic wrap do this to me? It's not against you, Emmy. It's fine. It's just plastic wrap. All right, plastic wrap. Now we're gonna cut this on the bias. How do you cut your sandwich? On the bias, in half? Ugh. Ready? Ta -da! Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that red streak down the middle of that sandwich. <laughs> That's a little scary, actually. Wow. That's the Inky Gayo sandwich. Alrighty, here's my beautiful Inkigayo sandwich. Look at that strawberry jam. It's so vivid in there. Sadly, there's no secret phone number hiding in my sandwich though. Alrighty, let's give this a taste. Mokja. Mmm. <laughs> it's great. So at first, it just tastes like an egg salad sandwich. You're like, mmm, eggy, creamy, mayo-y, 
a little bit of potato in there. You've got that nice crunch of the coleslaw. And then as you keep chewing, then you get to the strawberry jam part, but it's really nice. It kind of reminds me of when you have a turkey sandwich with cranberry sauce. You get that little bit of sweet fruitiness in there. Of course, it's not cranberry. It's strawberry jam and it's great. It works beautifully. I'm gonna have another bite and it's beautiful. Love that. It looks a lot more appetizing in person, I feel, <laughs> than when I saw the pictures. It's great. Mm -hmm. I think another key part of this sandwich is using really soft white bread. Once you kind of compress the sandwich with a bit of the plastic wrap, it just mushes all together. There's not much substance whatsoever, but that works really well texturally with the soft texture of your potato salad and your jam. And then you get a little bit of crunch <laughs> with your cabbage. It's a really great sandwich. I'm like four layers of bread, oh my goodness, that's gonna be so hard to get through, but it's not. They just kind of mush all together. It's delicious, I love it. Mm -hmm. The hype is real, y'all. This is a really delicious sandwich, particularly if you like an egg salad sandwich. If you don't like an egg salad sandwich, don't even bother with this sandwich because you won't like it because it's egg salad sandwich. So yeah, it's an easy no-brainer for you in that case. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye.